everyone, it's Mary Elizabeth with Project Vive, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up switch access with your tablet or smartphone. So jumping right into it, we're just going to go into your app menu, and then you're going to scroll down until you see the settings icon, and you're going to select settings. And then in your settings, you're going to scroll down until you see accessibility, and you're going to select that. Then in accessibility, you're going to hit switch access, and then you're going to flip the switch on and then it's going to ask you for your permission to use switch access um, and you're just going to hit OK. So after that you're going to go into settings which is in the upper right hand corner and then you're going to hit open setup guide. In open setup guide um, it's going to ask you if you need one switch or two switches. I just need one um, but if you had two switches you would select that in this menu. Then it's going to ask you for linear scanning or row column scanning. I'll show you a little bit about what row column scanning is at the end of this video, um, but it basically goes by row by row instead of item by item. So I'm going to select row column scanning and then next. And now it's going to ask you to assign your switch. So you can just hit your switch um, to make sure it comes up. Also a note, if you don't have a switch with you at the moment, you could also hit the volume down button or volume up button. Anyway, if you just hit your switch, you'll probably see a keyboard stroke. It might be an A um, or a different character, or it might just be um, a symbol like a forward slash. And if you accidentally select something, you can always just hit that switch again and it'll deselect it. So I'm just going to hit my um, volume down button and then hit next. Now it's going to ask about the speed. Um, you can hit a one second delay, three second delay. This always can be changed um, within your settings and you don't have to go through the setup um, guide again. So I'm just gonna hit one second delay. And now you can test it. So this is just a little tic-tac-toe to make sure everything's working fine. Um, and of course you can see it's actually working in uh, row column scanning right now. So after you're done with that, you're just going to hit next and then it's going to say set up finished and you're going to hit finished. So I'm going to get out of all of this and then here I'm going to actually show you a little demo of switch access working. So I hit my switch and it starts scanning through and I'm going to wait until I get to that row at the bottom. When I get there, I'm going to select and now I'm going to select now when I want to go to my apps and I'm going to select the second row because I want to go to cough drop. Select. And now I'm going to wait till cough drop comes along, hit my switch again, and then cough drop will open. Anyway, hope this was helpful to you. Uh, definitely check us out on YouTube. We have a playlist called uh, Switch Access with Android, and we're going to have a lot more videos on there explaining tips and tricks, um, as well as troubleshooting and great apps that you can use with Switch Access. Thanks, everyone, and hope to see you on the next one.